we're often challenged using the term peacekeepers because the United Nations peacekeepers have the track record, uh, almost the brand, for the term peacekeeper. So it's really true that in South Sudan we use the term protection. Um, we don't want to make an issue over the name. We call ourselves peacekeepers elsewhere. Um, we think it fits. We're there to reduce violence as well as to protect civilians. It doesn't really matter what we're called. Our basic principles are that we are nonviolent. It's, it's more than being unarmed, but we never carry weapons. We never resolve conflicts by force or manipulation. We uh, respect the primacy of local actors. Uh, that means they're the ones who, who make the decisions on what needs to happen. We are civilian to civilian. We uphold the primacy of civilian immunity in war. Very important principle that these days is just uh, being left aside. And we are independent, and that means when we take money from an entity to, to uh, pay our peacekeepers, our peacekeepers are paid, um, that we get that money from someone who doesn't have a vested interest in the country where we are. So for example, well, we could not take money from the United States government should they decide they want to give us money from the United States government because the United States government has, is supporting the, the Philippine army. Now that conflict has been, there is a peace process ongoing, so that's being resolved. We, we still would not take money from the U.S. Uh, government, uh, but we, we uh, Belgium and Germany and Norway and some of the European Union have all been very generous in supporting our peacekeepers. Same way in South Sudan, no issues with United States support, but we, wherever we are, we look to be independent. Uh, even when we're funded by the United Nations, we're still independent private organization. And finally, we are nonpartisan, and that means we don't take sides with any of the armed parties. Um, we, we don't really, we don't take sides in the civilian factions either, and there are many different opinions, and that's what's so good about human rights is if you're doing this in a peaceful way, everybody is protected. Uh, everybody has the right to to influence their government and to speak their mind and to have uh, basic human and, 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 and civil rights. We don't make judgments about good guys and bad guys, this position is the right one, because we have to maintain the support of everybody in the dialogue, in the discussion that makes things happen.